I love their banter so much. Guys, this book is so good. I just want to finish it. I'm going to read right now. Hello everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited because today is Friday. I feel like this week has been so long and all I want to do is start my book and finish reading it. I'm going to read The Gram Effect by Elle Kennedy. This comes out at the end of this month and I'm so excited for this. I absolutely loved the Off Campus series and Briar U series by Elle Kennedy. So I can't wait to dive into this. All I know is that this is about Garrett Graham's daughter. She wants to make like the women's national hockey team and there's a really grumpy, I think, guy who wants to get on Garrett Graham's good graces. So like they make a deal to like help each other out. That sounds so good. So I just feel like today's gonna be such a good night. I got a pizza in the oven right now. I'm gonna start reading The Graham Effect. And I also have this playing in the background right now. Look at my little fall-esque like ambiance right now. There's the rain and there's the fire. Just like all the fall vibes. So I'm gonna start reading right now and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this already started off so freaking good. This scene just immediately set up like really high expectations for this book. It starts off with Gigi going to this camp and she wants to get on the rink early so that she can practice or whatever before the actual camp starts. And there's a guy who comes in and he's like, hey, you're not supposed to be here. And she's like, what do you mean? And he like insults her by saying like, oh, figure skaters can go on later or whatever. And she gets offended, but pretends to be like a figure skater. And then he talks about how she's going to get in trouble and she's going to get it from Garrett Graham and he's going to kick her out. And she's like, who's Garrett Graham? And he's like, are you kidding me? Like, this is his camp, blah, blah, blah. And she acts clueless. And then she does something reckless as a figure skater. And all of a sudden, guess who walks in? Garrett Graham. He starts yelling at her because she's going to get hurt. And she goes, I'm sorry, dad. And then the guy looks at her like, that's your dad? And she goes, yeah. Iconic. Iconic. Obsessed that Jake Connolly has been mentioned multiple times for his good looks. And I love that him and... Garrett have like their own little like show podcast thing love that for them okay I'm like 50 pages into the book and so far the main conflict has been like Briar U and their rival university they combined because that rival school got shut down and so the hockey team is like about to get cut in half right now because people from Briar's hockey team then people from like the other university all trying to make the cut. So Ryder is from the rival hockey team. He's very interesting so far. We haven't had much interaction between like him and Gigi so far but I'm hoping it's like really good banter like it was when they were first introduced. I already ate two slices but I got my pizza. I know she looks kind of gross but she's beautiful to me and I'm on chapter five now. Oh my gosh, Ryder just made the worst impression with Garrett Graham. I can't. Oh, they just mentioned Hunter Davenport as being another legend that came out of Briar's hockey team. I love Hunter. I feel like Hunter is so underrated. So I love that he was mentioned here. Oh. Ryder went to Gigi's game and they're talking right now. She's really annoyed with him and then he says something. I love their banter so Guys, this book is so good. So as we know from like reading the blurb and everything, we know that like Ryder tries to get close with Gigi for her dad. And then she tries to get close with Ryder to like help her with the US national women's hockey team. He goes to her game so that way he can like ask her for a favor. And as he's at the game, he like critiques her game and like tells her like what she could have improved on. And that makes her mad. And then he shows up the next day with daisies. I just think they're going to be like a top tier couple. Like... Hello? I'm at the part where they just made a deal that he helps her with her hockey and she puts in a good word with her dad. I eat this up every time. Like when the two main characters like make a deal with each other and they just spend more time with each other and they fall in love. Love it! I... I'm just so obsessed with them. Like their banter is so good. Something happened to where Gigi and Ryder 
have to attend this event together and it's like I think it's like a black tie event so they're all gonna get dressed up so I'm hoping there's that one scene where it's like you know the guy's like kind of waiting he's like not really that into her or like he doesn't want to admit that he's that into her but then she like walks down she's already in a dress and he's like <gasps> I'm in love that is what I want in this scene right now Guys, I'm I'm literally so obsessed with them. They're like behind this curtain right now at the event because they wanted to hide. It's like they're silent and he says, you look nice. And he's like, I should have said it earlier. That was rude of me. And she was like, you look nice too. Stop. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, Gigi's having a date with her uncles. Uncle Dean, Uncle Logan, and Uncle Tucker. That's so yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, right now, playing hockey and he's helping her by conducting this drill. And he keeps talking about how oh, there's so much tension between them and like he can't stop thinking about her and he hasn't stopped thinking about her since the gala. And like, I, I want them to kiss so bad. Oh my gosh, I literally can't right now. I am literally so speechless right now. I'm 200 pages in. This is so slow burn i'm like itching for like even like a grazed hand or something this is so freaking good right now it's like 1 a.m now i just got ready for bed i'm about 200 pages into the book and i am so obsessed like i just want to read all night i this whole week i've been going to sleep at like 11 but i'm up reading this damn book because it's so good i want to try to finish it tonight i don't know if i will though but we'll see i just woke up and the first thing I thought about was the gram effect. It's like 9 a.m. on Saturday right now. I'm like 54% into this book. And I just want to finish it. I'm going to read right now. I'm on page 250. I really wanted to stay up last night to read it, but I physically could not keep my eyelids open. I'm at the part where they already agreed to do the favor for each other, but now they're throwing in another favor. They're agreeing to like, hook up to relieve stress this never ends in them just being friends so they're gonna fall in love okay i'm like 300 pages in and i'm still really enjoying it Ryder and Gigi have been hanging out a lot more they've been spending a lot more time together and just really getting to know each other and i feel like i love that aspect when like people just get quality time and they do things that the other person likes and they just start asking more questions to like really get to know the person and I love it. This scene in the book is definitely giving One Tree Hill. You know that episode where Nathan and Lucas are like stuck on the side of the woods because they don't have keys to their car? After losing a game, Coach Jensen makes Case, who is Gigi's ex-boyfriend and Ryder, get off the bus and he's like, you're gonna camp here overnight so you guys can get along because we lost the game because of you two. One Tree Hill vibes. I have a love-hate relationship with this, but you know when like it's so obvious that the two main characters characters have feelings for each other but they act clueless or like try to ignore it that's what's happening right now and i'm like god writer you are so stupid you like Gigi, and same with Gigi, she likes writer but they are like not considering that as an option and i'm like hello it's so obvious oh my gosh i just spoke too soon writer just asked Gigi on a date because he's like contemplating his feelings and basically she's like nah let's not complicate this why Oh my gosh, if what I think is happening right now, I freaking love Ryder. Oh my god. This is so sweet. <sighs> oh my gosh. Stop. This is so cute. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. Freaking finally, they're dating now, but I swear if there's a third act breakup, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm at work right now and I have about 100 pages left to read in this book. I think it's so good. I'm predicting it will be five stars because of how much I'm really liking this, but I'm gonna read this on my lunch break right now while I eat some leftover Mongolian barbecue. I'm so excited to finish this. I just found out what happened to Ryder's dad and why he hates him so much, and I was not expecting that at all. Gigi brought Ryder home for Christmas and Garrett and her brother are like grilling him with questions. I have like less than 100 pages left in the gram effect right now and I am loving it. I'm like, I'm so obsessed with it. I love Gigi and I love Ryder. Ryder is like such a good book boyfriend.
Oh, I'm so shocked is what I just read right now. This is like the complete opposite of a third act of breakup. Okay, I just finished reading The Gram Effect. Loved it. 4.5 out of 5 stars. I'm obsessed and I want another book in the series now. I need another second generation book. I love Garrett and Hannah's parents and I love that it didn't focus on them because it's not their book, but they had like snippets and we got to see little pictures of them like being, you know, parents. And I just loved this book. I thought this was so much fun. I definitely think you should read it. Friends with benefits, secret relationship, kind of enemies to lovers, sports romance, college romance, grumpy sunshine. This was so good. I loved it. This gave me like the same feeling of when I read the off campus series. I couldn't put this book down. I don't remember the last time I was so like adamant on like, I need to finish this book. I need to finish this book. I literally just kept like waking up in the morning, like running to read this book on my lunch break running to read this book when i got home from work running to read this book thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for any more bookish content and i will see you guys in my next video